Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Black Friday slash birthday book haul and I know Black Friday was a while ago, but I actually just got my book outlet box in the mail last week and I just haven't had time to film an unboxing. I already opened the box, so it's not really an unboxing, but it will be a haul. And also, my birthday just passed, it was on the 18th, and I got a couple books from people and I also went to Barnes & Noble with some of the gift cards that I got and purchased some books by myself. So I have lots of books to show you guys today and I'm really excited, so I'm just going to get on started. So I did go to Barnes & Noble on Black Friday and I got a few books, first being The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. This is a nice hardcover copy. I don't know what this book is about. It's a Sarah Dessen book, YA contemporary romance, I'm assuming. I was just going through such a Sarah Dessen phase last month. I was reading all of her books because I had always thought that I had read most of Sarah Dessen's books, but I realized I have not really read most of her books. I just kind of own them. So I really was loving her last month, so I decided to buy this book. I think this is her most recent release, and I'm really looking forward to reading it just because I do love Sarah Dessen, and I think this will probably be a great one, and I love the cover also. It's very pretty. Next book I picked up is kind of random, but it is Strong Looks Better Naked by Khloe Kardashian, and the reason I picked this one up is because back in May 2015, I actually met Khloe Kardashian at her book signing, and we were given this book plate right here so you can stick it into the book once you buy it so I decided to buy it so I could put the sticker in there so that's that and I did meet her and I got a picture with her if you've not seen that I will put it right here but yeah so I just wanted to buy the book because I did meet her forever ago before the book was even out so I wanted to make sure I could put my sticker in something so I did go out and buy the book and I'll probably read it next book I have is Step Brother Mine by Opal Karu, and this is a romance book about this girl that wants to auction off her virginity and I've actually already read this I just read it back before I when I bought it which if you watched my vlog this week one I believe you might have seen that I read it and finished it it was just like a really easy flip through fast read it took me like one sitting and it was just okay it wasn't the best book ever but it was okay so now getting into the books that I ordered on Book Outlet, first one is Light in the Shadows by A. Meredith Walters. If you watched my last book haul, I hauled Find You in the Dark by A. Meredith Walters, and this is the sequel, and I needed the sequel because I finished the first one and I was like, oh my god, I need the sequel. And then I read this as soon as my Book Outlet ship came in, and I absolutely love this book. I think I gave it four out of five stars, and it was really great to continue on with the first book. If you do not know, the first book, Find You in the Dark, is about this girl who goes to high school and she meets this guy. He's like this scary new guy, he's like sort of a bad boy, he has a really troubled past, and he doesn't talk to anybody, but he talks to this main girl, and they end up forming a relationship, and it's really, really intense and crazy, and this is the second book, so yeah, I wanted to get that. I got Go Ask Alice by Anonymous. I have always seen this at Barnes & Noble, but I've just never decided to pick it up. It's a diary-style book that deals with some really intense issues, I guess, like drugs and stuff like that, and I've always wanted to read these books, but I've heard that the anonymous that has written them is actually a propaganda group of mothers. Kind of interesting. I'm not really sure. If you've heard anything about that, let me know. But I um, wanted to read it, so I decided to get it on Book Outlet because it was super cheap. Next one is We All Looked Up. Who's this by? Uh, doesn't say. Wallach? Tommy Wallach. Sorry, it's like really small on the cover. But We All Looked Up. I've seen this at Barnes & Noble a bunch lately, and it was just really expensive. It's $18, but on Book Outlet, it was like 3 This is about a group of teenagers, I guess, and their story. I mean, it kind of looks like an intriguing cover, and I think it might be an interesting read. One of my friends, I think, read this book, and she liked it. So I'm excited to see what this one's all about. Next book I got is Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I decided to get this. It's the special collector's edition that has Obsidian, and Onyx and I want to read the series because everybody's obsessed with it and I honestly have no idea what it's about like I have no idea what it's about but I really want to read it because so many of you guys told me that I need to but this looks really intimidating and I know it's two books but it was really cheap on book outlet so I was like I might as well get this now and then people can convince me in the comments to read it so let me know what this book is about non-spoilers please and just if you liked it because I know a lot of you guys are probably fans and I would love to delve into this series if a lot of you want me to so let me know this book is called All Our Pretty Songs by Sarah McCary. Um, I believe this is like a new adult book. That's what I get from it. Um, but it's about these two girls I, that are best friends and then 
boys come in between them or something like that. I'm not really sure. I saw it on Book Outlet. I was intrigued. It was cheap. It ended up in my cart. What can I say? That's really how I roll and it's really sad, honestly. <laughs> Next two books I have are Breathe and Because of Low by Abby Glines. I'm slowly collecting this series. It's the Sea Breeze series and I have like three of the books already, but I didn't have the first one. I believe this is the first one and I just like want to collect all of them before I read the series because I feel like I'll like it. A lot of you guys have told me that you really like the series, but I just haven't gotten to it yet, so I got these two because they were really cheap and I just want to keep expanding the series collection I have. Here I have Lead Me Not by A. Meredith Walters, which is the same author that wrote the Find You in the Dark series, and this is just another, I believe, new adult contemporary book. She has a lot of books. I looked on her Goodreads page and I didn't realize how many books this author had, and I feel like I would like them because I really did enjoy Find You in the Dark, so hopefully I will read this one soon. I'm not sure what it's about though. Here I have Scandal by Sarah Ockler. I have another book I own by Sarah Ockler. I think it's called Fixing Delilah. Is that by Sarah Ockler? I believe so. I believe this book explores stuff with social media and like posting photos and like things that can happen if you post photos of stuff and I'm not really sure. I think it's probably going to be interesting. This says Lucy and this says Lucy's best friend's boyfriend. Hashtag scandal. <laughs> But I've seen a lot of people talk about this book and I really do want to read it. And I haven't read one of Sarah Ockler's books yet, so hopefully I will pick up one of them soon. And the last book I got off of Book Outlet is True by Erin McCarthy. And this is just a new adult romance book about a girl and a guy. You know, my go-to basically. I'm not really sure the more underlying details of the story, but that's kind of what I've got for you. If any of you've read this, let me know. So those are all of my book outlet purchases. Now I'm going to be moving on to birthday books that I got. Actually, before I do move on to that, I just wanted to mention this. This is Did I Mention I Love You by Estelle Maskeme, and this was a Wattpad story that was really popular apparently, but I had never heard of, and it's the first book in a series of three. The second book is out in the UK now, but it's not out in America till like March or something. I bought this at Target, and then I ended up reading it. If you saw my Vlogmas, I read this during that, and I loved it so, so much. I read it in one sitting, and it's amazing, and I loved it. This is about a girl who moves in with her father, stepmom and three brothers, stepbrothers that is, um, for the summer because she has not seen her father for three years after he left her and her mother and she moves in with them and she has this older brother who is nothing but trouble but she can't stay away from him but they're step siblings but they don't care that they're step siblings and it gets crazy, it gets amazing, it gets fun, it's really like you have to be into this type of story. It reminded me a lot of the style of After. Like, if you liked After, you'd probably enjoy this. It's a Wattpad story. I like to tell you guys, with Wattpad, it's kind of difficult if you're really into, like, thick, dense literature. This is not going to feed your brain in the way that Pride and Prejudice will, but it'll be really entertaining and fun, and it kind of gave me that, like, Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han vibe, but After a lot as well. So, if you're interested in something like that, I definitely recommend picking this up. I really loved it, and I had my mom or me the second book online epic depository from the UK so I will have it before March and I know that's absolutely terrible but I need the second book so I will be reading that very soon but make sure you pick this one up if you have not already. So if you guys have been watching my vlogmas you might know that I gave away a signed copy of The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and I bought it at Barnes & Noble and I was so excited about it and I wanted to buy myself a copy but I couldn't justify it. So if you watch my vlogmas you already know this but my friend Matt decided to go out to Barnes & Noble and buy me a signed copy for my birthday as a gift so this is The Perks of Being a Wallflower signed by Stephen Chbosky which is so freaking awesome. This is one of my all-time favorite books ever and to have a signed copy just means so so much so thank you Matt if you're watching I'm so stoked about this and I just want to reread it now because I love this book so so much. For my birthday my brother got me Just Kids by Patti Smith. This is a book that I have not read yet but I have wanted to for such a long time. Every single time I go into Barnes & Noble it is not there so I guess my brother got this one online for me and I'm so excited to read it. I love Patti Smith and I'm really not sure what this book holds but I know it's just really powerful and it's really awesome and I've heard so many really really great things about it and I'm really excited to read it. Next book I have here is Before by Anna Todd, which was given to me by my friend McKenna for my birthday, and I'm so excited to read this book, you guys. You have no idea. Um, this takes place before, after, so it's kind of like the prequel, I believe. It might even delve into, like, after, but in Harry's point of view, but from what I can tell, this book takes place in a lot of different POVs, so I'm really excited to get into this. I will be starting this ASAP because I just cannot wait to read it. I'm, I'm excited. 
Okay, and lastly, I bought myself four books yesterday at the bookstore with some gift cards that I had. Two of them were poetry books. This is Poems from the Typewriter series, Chaser of the Light by Tyler Knott Gregson. And this is just really cute poetry on little notepads of typewriters. And it's just really cute. I love this type of like modern poetry that we have. I love Clementine Von Roddix. Clementine Von Roddix is my favorite modern day poet ever. And I love anything that reminds me of her. And this is something that kind of reminds me of her. So I really wanted to get this one. Also, Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. I was flipping through this in the bookstore and I really liked what I saw. I kind of noticed this deals a lot with rape culture and feminism and stuff that I feel really strongly about, so I'm really excited to read more of these. I started kind of delving into it yesterday and so far it's so great, so loving this. I also got First Love by James Patterson and Emily Raymond. And if you know James Patterson, he's written so many books, so many amazing top-selling series. And I saw this in the YA romance section and I was like, James Patterson wrote a YA contemporary book. I was really confused. So I looked it up because there was no summary on the back. And then this is also an adult book. And I went to the adult section and I found it with a different, much uglier cover. But it's the same story. And I'm really confused by that. If any of you guys know anything about why that is, let me know. But I decided to pick this one up. It's about two people that take a road trip together and I guess fall in love. And it sounded really, really cute. It says right here, how I ran away from home and fell in love with my best friend. So I'm really excited about that. But let me know if you know anything about the James Patterson thing. I have no idea. And the last book that I bought for myself at Barnes & Noble is a novella by Miss Colleen Hoover. This is Maybe Not. And I was looking on Colleen's Instagram and she said that this isn't supposed to come out for like four more days. But I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday and I just happened across the Colleen Hoover section and I noticed a bunch of these there and I had no idea that it was published yet. So I was freaking out and I was like, I need to buy this because if you don't know, this is the novella for Maybe Someday, which is one of my favorite books by her. But more importantly, it follows my all-time favorite secondary character, Lauren and Bridget, who's another character in Maybe Someday, and their relationship. So I obviously had to buy this because my favorite secondary character ever has a story of his own. And I've actually read this on my phone already, but I wanted to have the physical copy. So I'm really excited about this. Okay guys, so my camera is dying, so I need to wrap this up really quick. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've bought any really awesome books on Black Friday, or if you've just picked up anything as of lately that you're excited about, because I have so many books that I just cannot wait to delve into. I have so many exciting books in this pile, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure, as always, to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Leave me a comment, follow me on Twitter, do all that great stuff for me, please. I hope that you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Goodbye! So kiss me, kiss me, kiss